Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles and I am back with another book review. Today we review Goon by Edward Lee and John Palin. Um, I'm going to read the, uh, the, the uh, synopsis, then we will read my written review, then we will delve into it a little bit. So here we go. Um, here we go. Six foot nine and 400 pounds, Goon is a one-man gore machine of a wrestling conference. I don't know about that. Police Captain Philip Stryker isn't a wrestling fan. The bodies pile up like dirty laundry, sex-obsessed tramps used as playthings by some unspeakable creature. Stryker is determined to solve the rash of rape and mutilation murders with trimmings that beggar description. Beggar? Bagar description. I don't know. Reporter Melinda Pierce will be do anything to find out by offering herself up in order to infiltrate the arcane and lust drenched warrens of backstage wrestling. This human juggernaut is this masked rack of guts, muscle, and mayhem. Is Goon just a wrestler gone insane, or is he something hideously worse? So as you can see, I. Don't really agree with that synopsis. It makes it seem like it's going to be like a fantastic, just murder after murder after murder. A merciless killing machine. Like, there was like maybe one death in this whole book. Maybe two. Uh, Alright, let's go to my written review. So I started with this. Before we start this review, I'm going to state that I'm giving this one a two and a half star rating. Rounded up to three on Goodreads and Amazon. So what is this story about, you may ask? Well, it's about this officer named Straker who is looking over the case of a dead woman that was physically disassembled, possibly by a wrestler that goes by the alias Goon. He meets a reporter that is going to help him find Goon, named Melinda, and together the story really kicks off. I didn't care for this one. Maybe it just wasn't for me. I don't know. At times this book felt like a comedy more than so than a horror story. One that fell flat. Uh, the gross-out scenes felt very unnecessary, forced, and honestly, the story never really succeeded at grossing me out. And throughout the whole book, there really isn't any murder or bloodshed. It just doesn't. It just didn't tickle my horror fancy, you know. Oh, and don't get me started on that left out, out of left field ending. It just came out of nowhere and just felt very, very forced. Like the authors had no clue how to wrap it up and said, screw it, and man manufactured the cl that climax. So yeah, that's my review of Goon by Edward Lee and John Palin. I have another book that features both authors that I'm willing to try as well, but I'm now weary going into it. The book is called Family Tradition. It sounds great, so I'll give it a chance, but I digress. I forgot to write that. <laughs> also, this is my second Edward Lee book. My first being The Stick Men, which was really good. But again, it wasn't really horror. So I'm looking forward to reading my first real Edward Lee horror story. I don't know when that will be or what, when that will come. But I'm, I'm thinking about just reading his more popular stuff like Header and see how I do with that. If I do like, if I do, I'll continue, if I, I don't know what I wrote here. <laughs> if I do, I'll continue seeking out his books. Two and a half stars, sorry Mr. Lee and John Palin, or Palin I should say. So yeah, this seems like everyone really likes this book. Um, I, I'm seeing a few three stars as I scroll down, but mostly um, I'm seeing... Uh, like five stars and other stuff like that. Um, here's a two star rating right here. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm reading this review. I don't even understand what they're talking about. But anyways, um, um, yeah. Uh, this book was um just not for me maybe i don't know i'm i'm looking for extreme horror and when i read the description for this it just sounded like it was going to be extreme i did not get an extreme horror story with this one 
sure there was some gross scenes i guess but they were when he was having like sex with a you know hideous women woman you know and uh i just i mean whatever you know i that's i really wish the worst for Straker. and if Straker wasn't supposed to be a likable character then um I would have been more interested in it because I would have loved to see that guy just die and get murdered the worst way possible. The dude was a pervert and seriously was just just not a fun character to follow. Melinda was just ridiculous, um, over the top. Maybe that's what the goal of this book was to be an over the top book, but there was just no murder. I mean, they keep hinting at murders, but no, there was like one actual murder. And then there's a, the climax where another person dies. Not going to give it away. But um, yeah, there was like two deaths in the whole book. Which is okay. You don't have to have a lot of deaths in order for it to be a horror book. But this one felt more like a really bad comedy. And uh, I, I just wasn't laughing at the, the scenes that they were trying to write. You know, I, whatever. How many times can you joke about a guy jacking off? It, it's just not funny. It's To me, it, it just fell flat. It just wasn't funny it was just juvenile horror or well juvenile comedy it, it, it i i might i was the only reason see i was really leaning towards two stars but i decided to throw the half star in there because it wasn't badly written per se i just just wasn't a good story it the gross out scenes were just forced it just felt like they were trying to gross me out just to gross me out and unfortunately i got a stronger stomach than the average reader i guess so this one just failed for me it it wasn't it was just a bad comedy like a bad adam sandler flick you know what i'm talking about like adam sandler can have some really funny movies but he also has some really unfunny movies if that was a word <coughs> some really not funny movies so yeah, overall, two and a half stars. I really didn't care for this one at all. I wish I didn't buy this one, unfortunately. I'm not saying don't go out. Like I'm not trying to stop you from buying this book. Go ahead. It seems like uh, I'm, I'm kind of um, on the other side of the fence. Um, it seems like most people really like this book. I just found it just, I don't know, it just sound, it seemed like a teenager wrote it, you know what I'm saying? Like a horny teenager, and the striker's supposed to be in like his like 30s or 40s or something like that, I never really said, I don't think, but uh, yeah, and he's and he supposedly has like no sex drive, but all of a sudden this hot sexy woman comes by and all of a sudden he, he can't keep it down, so it whatever and it, it this book just didn't do it for me i i could rant about this some more but really i said everything i need to say um go check out the book if you want i will leave a link in the description of where to buy it um i personally was thinking about buying the um paperback because there's an illustrated version but after reading it and finishing it i this is not one i actually want to purchase um I'm happy I listened to the audiobook. When it comes to the narration itself, it was pretty good. Um, the narration was really good. I liked listening. The guy had a good voice. Um, I, I never have any problems with the actual narration itself. But overall, yeah, this one just didn't do it for me. Um, this one didn't do it for me. Really didn't do it for me. So I'm going to just leave it at that. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm definitely having a really rough day. Um... But I hope it gets better tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but I got a mustache hair trying to poke my lip. But anyways, <laughs> um, overall, just a really rough day. And then I finished it with the finished this book finally. Just didn't care for it. And it, I'm not. It's not like my review is gonna hurt th these people. Obviously, people like this book. And Edward Lee's a huge name in the horror community, so I doubt that my review is going to harm them in any way. That's why I did decided to even do this review. 
two and a half stars. That's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.